Alright, he's Mega here. So I just got done uh, at the AAA here. Um, this is the AAA in San Jose on Brokaw. Um, so I'm going to hop back on the Suron right here. Uh, so I was not able to transfer the title here. Um, they said they needed a they said they need a, a title or yeah they said they needed a title and uh, I guess uh, the guy the guy never said he never got one so I'm not really sure and we got that excellent ground clearance they're not gonna hit anything so here we are at triple-a here San Jose and they were not able to do it because I didn't have a title and I, I thought it was kind of weird we didn't have a title before but we do have that so what I have is an ID card. It's a registration card is what it is, basically. And I have a... Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, the deal is... So I'm going to ride home now. We'll just do the, I'll just do a little vlog. So I was not able to transfer it at the AAA. Um, because... Uh, what's the word? Because uh, I didn't have the title. They said they wanted to see the title. And, and the guy that sold me the bike didn't have a, a title per se. All he had was an ID card, and he had a some kind of a paper slip that said like either it was a it, it says either it's destroyed or uh, that, like it's a it's a little uh, thing saying like you you sign it and you say it was destroyed, and then there, and on the bottom it says like there's a new owner like there, there's a seller and the buyer and all that stuff. So I don't know what to say. So uh, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go to DMV. Is basically we don't have a title. So so they said that I but. But I said they, they they said the previous owner didn't have a title, and uh, and it was a and it's a moped and it's different. So they said like okay, well it's probably better if you go to DMV. So um so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to DMV. I I don't think we're gonna take this. We're not gonna go to the DMV in this though. <laughs> Maybe I will make an appointment. But uh, I by law you have ten days to transfer a vehicle that you bought. So. All right, he's big here. So uh, today's the day I gotta go to the DMV and do the thing with uh, with the Suron bike. So I'm not riding the Suron there today. I don't know if it would make it. I'm not really sure how many miles it is from uh, my house. I think about it. I probably could have made it. Well, <laughs> maybe we'll try one day. Maybe we can take it and play on the, um, the little. Uh, um, the DMV practice circle. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, so here today I'm riding the, my Kawasaki ZR7. This is actually the bike I was, I was supposed to sell so I could buy the, uh, um, so I could have money to buy the Suron. But uh, the Suron is, uh, I bought the Suron first because um, I found the used one. So I wanted to swoop it up before somebody else did, you know. Um, it's very rare to find one of those bikes still used you know but uh, also just uh, recently uh, I bled the brakes on this bike uh, it does break a little better um, I bled the brakes on this bike I changed the muffler back to the stock muffler and uh, what else did I do to it um, it runs better with the stock muffler <laughs> I think I had to I didn't rejet the bike or anything so I just changed the muffler so yeah So what we're doing today is uh, we're going to the DMV and uh, we're gonna go uh, do the thing. Ah, it's still a little, still got some fog. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go uh, to the DMV. I made an appointment. It's been it's been about a week, and a little less than a week since uh, we last uh, thing. Oh, whoa, 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 dude! What the hell, man? <laughs> Do this on the sewer on. <laughs> We're like 80 miles an hour on the freeway. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, um, uh, we're, we're gonna go to the DMV today. I uh, I made a uh, a reservation or appointment. I made an appointment at 12:40. It's about 12 o'clock right now, so we gotta get there before 12:40. Um, and we're gonna go uh, knock out this uh, this registration and title transfer and all that good stuff. So, 
and then I'll, I will let you guys know how it goes. Uh, so if you remember from the last uh, the last video clip, uh, I I rode the bike to AAA, and AAA does has DMV services, and they should let you transfer vehicles, but but they didn't let me. Uh, they didn't let me because I didn't have a title, so uh, I don't know if we're going to get a title. Um, the, the previous owner didn't have one. And I know you can transfer a vehicle without a title if you have a bill of sale. So I have the bill of sale, the registration, the due signature on it and everything. So I don't know why we couldn't do it. So, so we're going to try to go to the DMV and try to do it today. So if not, if not, I, I'm thinking we have to, we'll have to apply for a title and then they'll have to transfer it or something. I don't know. Either way, we're, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get a title now, but I'll, I'll let you know. I will let you know how it turns out today uh, after, after everything is said and done. All right. Let's hang out. Okay, I don't know if we got that last video. Um, I'm here at the DMV, and uh, we're going to go do the thing. So uh, I got the documents in my pocket, so we'll uh, get this taken care of. Hopefully, hopefully we won't have any problems. All right, here's my go. All right, here's my here. So I did it. I got it transferred. Ha ha. So here we're gonna go. I'm gonna go play around on the, the DMV circle right here. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot my choke is on. It's not. I was like, why isn't it slowing down? I'm like. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so I'm going to go play on the DMV circle while I tell you guys what happened. So, uh, what happened was we uh, we got it transferred. So, what I did was uh, we came in, we had a appointment and everything. And, uh, and yeah. Ooh. A little, a little rusty. <laughs> a little rusty there. Anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, um, plus I just had a race this weekend, so, um, Let's do the cone one. I don't know which one is the cone one. Um, anyway, I, I haven't done this test in a long time, so I don't quite remember how it goes. But uh, we can just do circles. Um, anyway, uh, what happened was uh, they gave me uh, they made me go to the appointment lines. So I got an appointment, and then I went there, and then some guy kind of looked it over, and then he gave me a number. I mean, oh, man, there's like a thing right here. He gave me a number, and then, uh, what's the word, uh, they, uh, they gave me a number. Yeah, yeah, so I had to wait. I waited, oh, maybe like five minutes or something. And then, uh, and then I talked, I went to go talk to the guy at the window, and then, uh, he's like, hmm, that's strange. I've never seen one of these. I, it's, it doesn't have a title. It's kind of weird. It just has a registration. So, so, um, he kind of looked it up. He said, oh, maybe we've been doing this wrong the whole time because uh, it looks like it's fine. You can just thing it, you know? They want you to shift up once. There you go. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so he just went and he just said like, yeah, okay, it looks fun. Uh, and uh, he just went and uh, transferred it. And then uh, it was a 22 whopping dollars. <laughs> so cheap. So cheap, 22 bucks. So my insurance was like 20 bucks. And the uh, insurance is 20 bucks. And then, uh, what's the word? Uh, see how fast we can go. Um, insurance is 20 bucks, and, uh, I need to buy more, um, yeah, the insurance is 20 bucks, and then it was 22 bucks to register, let's do the cones. <laughs> I love, man, I did Gimkana on this bike, I love doing Gimkana on this bike. And then, uh, what is it, yeah, so, so that was it, oh, it was pretty simple, uh, only 22 bucks, uh, they gave me the same exact card that I had before. It was it's like a whole paper this time, but it has a perforation in the in the middle, you know. So uh, let's see if we can do it slow. It's harder doing it slower than faster, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. So it was just uh, we just uh, it was 22 bucks, and then he just gave me a receipt. I paid with my card, and then uh, what's the word? Uh, after uh, we. Uh, he gave me the same card that I had before, the exact same card, but it has my name on it, you know, and the address and all that good stuff. And uh, he, gave, he gave me the address and all that good stuff, so it's all good. He did a thing. Oh man, the, the fucking security is going to kick me out a bit. A what? 
They're always such dickheads at this uh, DMV, man. Like uh, other DMVs, they don't have the they don't have the stupid gate where the where the DMV circle is. But they do here in San Jose. Counterbalance more. Counterbalance more. There you go. Maybe we can do some cone work here. No, let's not do the cone work. <laughs> There's not a lot of space to work with that. Maybe on the Suron we could do it. Okay, well anyway, let's go. That guy wasn't supposed to be parking here, that was motorcycle parking. Anyway, holy shit, look at this. It's fucked up. So I'm glad I didn't ride my car. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go home. Alright, yeah, so uh so the deal is uh we uh we got the registration. Um, we got the registration, pretty much the same card as we had before. It has your address on it, your name, and all that good stuff, and the plate number, and all that info. And you're supposed to have that on you when you ride. And that's your actual transferring thing also, so. Um, and that's it, it was 22 bucks. So, total damage, 20 bucks for the, uh, for the insurance, and 20, uh, and 22 dollars to transfer. I don't, I think it's, I think it's like 19 dollars for, uh, I think it's $19 for the registration. So it's about, it's going to be about $40 a year to, to ride the Silron on the street. So that's, uh, that's the thingy, man. So, uh, so we got it done. So the bike is mine now and it is street legal. And, uh, we just have to like, you know, I would just ride it. So, you know, it, it has a top speed of 36 miles an hour. I would just ride it as fast as you can ride it, man. It's, um, I just ride it as a motorcycle, you know, like like you would ride a normal motorcycle. I see no problems with it. So, uh, so yeah, so um, I can't wait to go ride it some more. Now we finally got all the stuff. I, I had to find a way to keep the documents on the bike somehow, um, or I just keep them in my wallet, I guess. The the cards are are kind of big, man. It's like a it's like a half a sheet of paper or something, you know. Um, yeah, it's like a half sheet of paper. So it's um it's a little. It's a little annoying to carry around with you. It's not like a small registration card, you know? And the, and the insurance the insurance card is, is a, like a little sheet of paper too. So I'm gonna have to find some way, some way to store it on the bike. Create like a little pocket or something or put a little tube in there. That's what I might do. Um, that way I don't have to carry it on my person. I can just carry it on the bike. Oh, slippery. Yeah, so, uh, so that's the dealio. Uh, we gotta find a way to, uh, to do the insurance and all that stuff. Um, but to, I mean, to, how, how to carry all the registration documents and stuff uh, on the bike, you know, there's, cause there's like literally, well, you know what? Oh, you know, I, I didn't think about that. You know what have been a good, a good, a good idea to, to where to store it? Is the battery compartment. Just put it underneath the battery. Um, get a little, uh, get one of those shipping uh, document pouches and then, uh, and then like tape it tape it to the bottom of the, to where the, um, to where the body, battery compartment is. And yeah, so it has to be in like, it has to be like one of those little uh, shipping document things because uh, because it could get wet. It, it, the battery can get wet and the bike can get wet. So uh, you want it to be in some kind of plastic to, to protect that stuff. So that's actually a great idea. I might, I might do that. I might go to um, Staples or something and see if they got those document holders. All right. Here's Miguel! Success! Success! Okay, here's Miguel here. So I'm back from the DMV. So here it is. This is the, uh... This is the, uh, ID card or the registration card you're supposed to have on you. And they just they don't give you a title. So that's the way it works in California, apparently. Um, because they're, they're like, there's no title. It's kind of weird. There's just a registration. So, but this is, this is all they give you. So, so we'll go over it real quick again. So this is the one... It's basically with the one, the same slip that the same paper they gave me, um, but uh, it's got my name on it now. So there's my name, Merlin Valencia. Um, so the make is a Suro. It's a motorized bicycle. Um, body type MP. Um, this is MO is 80. I don't know what that is, but this is a type of vehicle used. Is a moped. This is the date it was issued. Um, for is that today? Yeah, that's today's date. Um, and then the, when they receive the fees, um, they give you the engine number. Um, every every Suron has some kind of engine number on it. Um, you can look on the motor. 
and then there's a vehicle ID number to VIN. Um, that's the one that's on the the headstock, um, uh, where the head bearings are and stuff. The where the steering the steering stem head, basically is what it's called. And um, there should be one there. It's it, that's pretty much where they are for like motorcycles and stuff too. So it expires. I don't know when it expires. So maybe this is a forever registration. <laughs> I will. I will let you know in a year. I'll let you know. In, I know. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think, I don't think you ever have to pay any more fees after that. I think this is you just get a plate and then that's it because there's no, there was no sticker on the plate. Um, I don't think there's a, this is an annual registration. Um, I don't think this is an annual, um, annual fee type of thing. I think it's just for life. <laughs> For life, you don't have to pay any more because you just you just pay for the plate and I guess the registration fees and that's it. And the registration fee was 22 bucks to transfer it from uh, from the other guy's name to mine. And then uh, here it's got a seller's signature right here. So if you're going to sell the bike, you need to sign this and then put the date sold here. It doesn't even have a mileage or anything. It's it's a lot different than a motorcycle. Um, so a motorcycle has odometer, um, but the, the Suron has odometer also. So. Um, yeah, and then uh, and yeah, let me give you a license plate number. That's the number right there. Type license H6. I, I don't know what H6 means. This is a vehicle type 650, and it says yeah, it says expires zero. So I'm a, I'm assuming this never expires. So do not lose this, or else you wind up paying like twenty something dollars for another one. Um, that's how much. Because I just got a duplicate registration, or a, um, yeah, I got a duplicate registration for my car, and it was like twenty one dollars. So to get a new plate it's like twenty one dollars it's for some reason the, the fees are all the same <laughs> um, so yeah so there it is that's the registration card so this is the one that you have to carry with you all the time when you're operating it on the street so uh, um, it's kind of annoying to carry because it's like a half strip of paper ha half sheet of paper um, what I might do is I might get a little tube or something and then put it attach it to the bike somewhere and then roll this up and stick it in there or something um, or uh, or I put it in a packing slip um, and hide it in the battery compartment. That might be what I do also. Um, so we'll see. It'd just be kind of annoying if you ever get pulled over by the police and uh, you have pull out. Uh, here, hold on, let me pull out my battery here because uh, that's where my registration is. <laughs> or you can just put it in your wallet. Maybe that's what I'll do. But it's kind of annoying to carry with you. Um, I will definitely take a picture of this. Uh, so uh, I have for future reference. Uh, they did give me the bill of sale right there um, uh, they actually took my bill of sale because um they said that I was supposed to, they were supposed to like sign and date somewhere and they didn't but they had the bill of sale and so they just take, took they took the bill of sale but they gave me a copy of it so uh, we can take a look at the other side okay so uh, so this is the other side of the this is the second kind of sheet part of the sheet here and this is like a, if the vehicle has been destroyed you need to sign this and then and then date it and like if you it gets destroyed you know Complete the notice below and then complete and then return it to the DMV within 10 days after you destroy it or sell it. So supposedly he was supposed to sign this and date it. He forgot. I think he forgot to date it. But uh, and then th you check this if you destroy it. I thought this part was only if you destroyed it. But you actually have to sign this, date it, and then have the last name, yeah, the new owner's last, first, middle, initial. Transfer fee is 22 bucks uh, and then their address and all that good stuff. They don't even ask for a driver's license. That's a funny thing. <laughs> um, new owner must apply for... Yeah, okay. And then in 10 days, they have to transfer it or something. And then you sign... Uh, seller signs here. Owner signs here. And then this is put your date sold here. It's kind of weird because... Uh, the, 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 I could have just added a date to it. But anyway. It's always good to have a bill of sale too. Um, just so you have some kind of record. And then, and then that's it. So that's it. So it was a uh, it was twenty two dollars and it's twenty dollars to insure. So that's a uh, that is a uh, that's some info on uh, registering uh, one of these guys. It is not very expensive at all. Um, uh, vehicle insurance is like I mean, vehicle registration is like at like a hundred fifty dollars for like old bikes and stuff now. So it's pretty it's pretty expensive to register stuff. But. This, I don't think you ever have to register it again, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, and here it's got like the info. There's your license plate number, and this, I guess, is I'm 189 
that's why that's the, the last three of your bin I think um, yeah it's kind of they didn't even put the whole bin they just put one eight <laughs> just put like the last three numbers or something um, all right so there you go that was my experience uh, registering uh, a California moped plated uh, sewer on light B Here's my out hope you've uh, ho hopefully that helped that hopefully that was a uh, some uh, give you some insight into how you know if you or if you were to buy one from somebody that already had a title um, so like I said, like we mentioned earlier triple a didn't let me do it because they were looking for a title and then the DMV they just yeah they just let me do it they just, just there really is no title it's just a it's just a piece of paper so don't lose this piece of paper <laughs> um, yeah do not lose it um, I guess you'll have you'll still have your plate you know the plate has a number on it you can take the number there if you do lose it um, but yeah all right I hope that uh, helps uh, hope that had helped out with some uh, useful info for for the people on the interwebs please make out